wake up in the morning, sometimes I, I just look down there and see if I can move my toes or my feet or my legs. Nine-year-old Vanika Johnson, suddenly uh -huh. and inexplicably paralyzed, Sometimes. has been in the Emory Rehabilitation Center for about two weeks. Doctors and therapists are trying to teach her to cope with her paralysis. Their minimum goal is to make Vanika independent in her daily life in a wheelchair. They hope she will eventually be able to move around on crutches with leg braces. In the meantime, Vanika manages the routine chores of life without the use of her legs. Occupational therapist Martha Meyer is teaching Benika how to dress herself. We're going to start at Nikia with your bed sitting up like this. And as the muscles in your back and your stomach get stronger and you can sit up by yourself, you can begin to do it on a flat bed. And twice a day, Benika continues physical therapy, a carefully planned program of exercise to strengthen her muscles so she can easily maneuver the wheelchair and have enough upper body strength to move around on crutches. Some feeling is now returning to Benika's legs. Doctors still don't know why. But now therapist Lisa Lovelace can see whether the muscles may start working again, too. Straighten, straighten, getting stronger. Pull them back, pull them back. Pull. Good. She sure is a brave little girl, and she sure is a lot more accepting than I thought she'd be. She's real receptive to anything I've got new for her to try. And she keeps trying as hard as she can. How did your morning go? Awful. Awful? Why? What happened? They stuck. Oh, when they stuck you with a needle? Mm -hmm. to take some blood? Yeah, they have to do that, though. I know it hurts. No one is really certain what she will be able to do when she leaves the hospital, but she's trying very hard to do the best that she can. She's just really a cute girl. She's really, really nice to work with. I really like her. Lunch is served in a community dining room. Vanika, on a special low-calorie diet, usually chooses to eat by herself. After lunch, it's back to therapy. This session, a test to see if any of Vanika's balance has returned. Tighten all those muscles in there, okay? And try to take lean back just a little. Try to take one arm at a time off my shoulder. Tighten up those hips. There you go. Good job. Good girl. It's easy to see the loving bond growing between Lisa and Vanika. It may be difficult for a child to understand fully the ordeal brought on by her paralysis, but it is not difficult for Vanika or any child or an observer to understand and appreciate the caring and personal attention the physical therapist exhibits hour after hour, day after day. Two more weeks of the same routine go by, and then something new. We're just going to try out these short leg braces, and most likely they're not going to fit perfect because they're just training braces. OK, we're just going to try this brace, OK? And it's going to give you support at your knee and at your ankle. And I have no idea. This is the one we'll end up with. This is just a training brace, OK? Everyone knows this may not work, but Benika okay. has all the feeling back in her legs now, and it's time to see how much weight, if any, they can support. What I want you to do is on the edge right there, using push down on the armrest, and I just want you to come up to stand, OK? There you go. Grab on the bars. Bring those hips forward. Hips forward. Straighten up your knee. Stand up nice and straight. See if you can look in the mirror there. Okay, straighten up that left knee. Hold that left knee. And pull it back. There you go. There you go. To feel like to stand up again. Feels strange. Feels strange. Okay, tighten up that knee. It's no wonder it feels strange. It's the first time Benika has stood up in a bewildering five weeks. She has conquered one task in her amazing journey, but it's a journey that is far from over. Tomorrow, another challenge. After two weeks in the rehabilitation hospital, doctors still don't know what kind of disease caused Benika's paralysis. Some feeling is now returning to her legs, though they are still useless to her. 
Occupational therapist Martha Meyer is teaching Benika how to cope with those useless legs in the normal routine of life. We're going to start at Nikia with your bed sitting up like this. And as the muscles in your back and your stomach get stronger and you can sit up by yourself, you can begin to do it on a flat bed. Physical therapist Lisa Lovelace continues to work with Benika on a muscle building program. Already she is strong enough in her arms and shoulders to move around easily in her wheelchair. Lisa's goal now is to strengthen Benika enough so that just using her upper body, she will be able to move around with crutches and leg braces. Two more weeks go by, and then something new. Everyone knows this may not work, but Benika has all the feeling back in her legs now, and it's time to see how much weight, if any, they can support. What I want you to do is on the edge right there using... Push down on the armrest, and I just want you to come up to standing, okay? There you go. Grab on the bars. Bring those hips forward. Hips forward. Straighten up your knee. Stand up nice and straight. See if you can look in the mirror there. Okay, straighten up that left knee. Hold that left knee. You pull it back. There you go. There you go. To feel like to stand up again. It feels strange. Feels strange. Okay, tighten up that knee. There it's no go. wonder it feels strange. It's go. the first time Benika has stood up in a bewildering five weeks. Okay, straighten up that she has conquered knee. one task in her amazing Gotta journey, but it's a journey that is far okay, from over. Tomorrow, another challenge. 